Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at how to use motion array templates. Without further ado, let's go ahead into the video. Now we are here in the motion array website. And as you can see here, we can pretty much access whatever kind of templates or pre-made items that we can use to ease our creative software ideas. And now if you take a look here on the top right, here are some things that we can take a look at. So these can be, you know, templates, presets, audio, video, and images. There is also this plugins feature, which is only available for those with a license. So you can actually have a free subscription on this, meaning that you're only able to use the free assets as well as a limited number of downloads that you can use. Now, if we just take a look at all of the templates that we have. So we have templates for like different creative softwares like Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Motion Graphics, uh, Adobe Premiere Rush, DaVinci Resolve, and even Final Cut Pro. For the presets, you can see these are the creative softwares that are available. For audio, there are some royalty-free music that you can use and sound effects as well. So if you want to, you know, create a video which is specifically designed for a certain free music you can go ahead and take a look at some of these here there are also some stock footages available so that you know say for example you want to add more content into your story but you don't have time to to generate or to capture all of those footages you can go ahead and take a look at some assets right here images also are the same so if there's any graphics that you want to use any photos it's all in here as well now we'll be taking a look at how to actually apply one of these uh, assets right here so we're gonna go ahead and go into templates and i want to take a look at some motion graphics available so let's go ahead and click on motion graphics and then as you can see this will load up all of the different motion graphics that we have right here so it will basically give everything that we have here but if we want to filter them into different categories we can go ahead and do so so we can use you know titles if you want to take a look at some title samples right here we can go ahead and see them which is pretty cool or if you want to add you know transitions lower thirds overlays backgrounds again it is all here but what i'm going to do is I want to take a look at the free assets right here and take a look at some samples. So basically, you know, once that we found something, how exactly do we use it? How exactly can we um, take a look at all of these? Now say for example, I quite like this uh, assets right here. So let's go ahead and uh, click on it. And then as you can see here, it is a motion graphics template. You can take a look at what um, version of Premiere it is available for. So it's using 2019. You can take a look at the orientation in here. So it is Instagram. So it does use a portrait style layout and you know how much memory it is and if there's any plugins required for this as well. So once that we're happy with all of these different assets, let's go ahead and download it. Now that we have downloaded the asset, we will then need to import this into our Premiere. So if we take a look at this, these are all the different motion graphics templates that we have. There might also be some fonts that needs to be added as well. So how exactly do we do that? Well, let's go into our Premiere. And then say, for example, that we have our layout right here to add a graphics template. All we need to do is go into graphics and titles right here. And then we can go ahead and click on install motion graphics template. Now let's go ahead and select those templates that we have. So say, for example, we want to import this one. So let's go ahead and click open and then what we would need to do is to open up the essential graphics right here if we cannot find this then all we have to do is go into windows workspaces 
and then take a look at captions and graphics and then go to the right side and then you should be able to see the essentials and graphics options right here now if we go ahead and look for uh, the graphics template itself so it was called clean instagram stories as you can see right here so let's go ahead and create a new sequence first so i'm gonna go on file new and then sequence and then we would need to change our settings right here editing custom and then go ahead and set this out uh, we would want this to be a portrait so we will need to swap this so it'll be 1080 by 1920 we'll just leave everything else out and then let's go ahead and click ok and then what we would need to do is we would need to drag our motion graphics into our timeline as so and then if it doesn't match then you can either change the sequence settings or keep the sequence settings so i'm just going to change it so that it will look exactly like what we have here we are so we have now been able to import this downloaded motion graphics from motion array into our timeline in premiere pro so if i click play as you can see up here we've managed to generate this itself and there you go so we were able to import our motion graphics template from motion array now we can go ahead and customize all of this if you wanted to so say for example uh we want to change the text right here so it is being adjusted as we want it to so again everything is now able to customize things we can change the color if you wanted to right there and there you go so we were now able to fully import and use any of the templates so this would be the same as well for the different creative softwares that we have say for example after effects or uh, even final cut pro uh, within the actual file itself within the actual file we can actually have some help in terms of how to do some installations right here so this can show you you know either as a video or as a, as a text or even as a website as well so that once that you have downloaded an asset there are some helpers within that zip file that will help you to properly install all of these out and there you go I hope that uh, you have found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we will talk to you guys next time.